Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Nathan Adams. This is my uh, video for uh, 6.5 L1 to L2, uh, helping our students work with their L1, but then ultimately transition to their L2, which is English. My student, Sam, is an intermediate uh, fluent learner of English, and so this, this lesson is geared towards more his level, and I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, the, le the lesson centers around imagery in literature, and we're going to use, as a Christian school, we're going to integrate the Bible uh, into that using Psalm 23, the famous psalm. Now, what the first thing, the first strategy I would use is every student has a Bible in their native language, and also a copy of the scripture in English. But most importantly, that Bible in, uh, in this case, Korean. Every student, the first thing we would do is every student would read the Bible in their native language uh, to themselves. Uh, and then again out loud and getting good practice, maybe two or three times just to get a good practice. And even out loud reading just to practice the language. This allows them to have the use, the understanding of the scriptures in their native language so that they understand what's going on and uh, hopefully builds their L1 skills which can then translate to L2 skills. All right? So that's our first strategy. Number two, at that point, then I would have them break up with a partner. And uh, in this case, most of these classes are ESL, they'd have um, you know, many different languages, perhaps, but a lot of Korean. So I would have two students break up uh, together, and what they would do is one would read in their native language the Bible, the other would read it in English. And then they would switch places, and so that they'd have to work with both languages, their native languages, and then their uh, L2, which is English. So that way you have the strength again in the L1 we are learning those skills, helping them develop there so that they will translate into good English uh, uh, reading uh, skills. Now secondly, or thirdly, as part of the fact that my ELL that I'm focusing on, Sam, is an intermediate learner of English, intermediate fluent, like an intermediate fluent person, uh, he needs to have things that are, per, uh, he needs to listen to the English being used a lot more. Uh, he needs to, you know, to kind of take it all in more, he needs to be exposed to the most, the more English, the better. So it's in, in that vein, and also the other students as well, but I would play this short uh, YouTube uh, video clip of somebody reading the scripture, Psalm 23, just real quick, you'll, you'll hear that. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restored. There we have, there we have the, the good reading, a good English reading of the psalm. That way, the young man gets it to be, uh, he hears it being used correctly in solid English that's well understood. Uh, well, well understood. This again helps him with scaffolding, understand what English is. At the same time, by the way, I would, I would encourage all the students to read along as the person reads their Bible in English, have them read it to themselves in their native language, again, getting that good uh, translation going on in their mind, very good skills to have. So that would be another, uh, another method that I would use to help them build those skills. The other, the next, the, the next thing that we would do is we would talk about what the, language, what the lesson is all about, really, and that is imagery in uh, literature. Well, uh, the first thing I would do is take a, picture, take a picture like this and say, class, what is this? This is a picture, right? And they would get that picture, they understand the reading, they click, click, this is a picture. Uh, certainly, for students that are at an ELL level of intermediate to fluent, they would definitely understand what a picture is. And here's a good visual aid again to help those students visualize this in the picture. This is what we're going for. Okay, and they all understand this is a picture of me, it's not the real thing, it's a picture, they get that. All right, when we drive that home. Then I would say this, just as this is a picture, this here, this picture of me, is a picture. So authors of stories, in this case David, also use great, um, they use words to create pictures. This is called imagery, because this is our major word for the day, imagery. And this is, uh, many great authors do this, or actually all great authors make, in, they, they draw pictures with their words. And I'm pulling this slide up here. I, again, for a person of an ELL student, Sam's level, you want a lot of pictures, you want to visualize. So I start here and it says, this is the first line from this book, the famous scripture. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack for nothing. I have them read it, read it again, just to make sure they get it. They can at the same time be looking at their Korean Bibles, that way they can really fully really understand it in their native language. But they say it both, and that's good. The visual aid here is the Lord is my shepherd, of course, the shepherd being, uh, they say, what is a shepherd? They say, here's a picture of it. The shepherd is the person who, who guides their sheep. 
Uh, and then those things, deal with sheep and raise the sheep, and ultimately that's their livelihood, is to take care of sheep. Okay? So what David's done here, this is a good example of imagery in the Bible, imagery in the psalm. And what we're looking at today is imagery. And then as, a, as the final act of not only this lesson, but the help of those EL students dealing with learning English and learning and then building strength in their native language is this. Um, I would have them break into cooperative learning groups of maybe two or three. And I would have them work together. And now, I would make this not the most grammatically you know, intense exercise. This is a pretty straightforward exercise. Because they would have their Bibles with them, the psalm in both English and Korean at the same time, so they could work on with both. And it's not very intensive, it would just be a copy. But basically, I would tell, I would instruct the students to look in that same psalm. So now you see one picture. What other pictures does David paint out as? What other pictures did, did, does David student draw? Does he give us? And simply, the, the students then would have to just simply copy down what they what they see directly. They don't have to put much thought into the grammar or anything like that, which is very good for EL students at Sam's level. Um, but and I think if you put all this together, they not only learn what imagery is in literature, which is wonderful, but they they, they build those L1 skills, which then ultimately translate well into the L2 skills, which is English. And uh, we continue with what we need to do. Thank you for watching, and God bless.